Hey everyone, it's Deb here, and I thought I would give you an update because I haven't been on for a couple of weeks, so I've been sort of missing in action because I've just been really busy. Um, it's been kind of a stressful couple of weeks. Um, as you know, the last time I've talked to you, I'm changing jobs, I'm quitting the current job. I work a couple days a week and dropping that out, trying to go a commit to a new direction and that's stressful because financially we're just not real comfortable with me not having some kind of an income so but I feel like I'm going that direction I'm still working at grooming we're finishing our house not finishing we're like redoing some remodeling stuff in our house um, you know kids are home for the summer it just I just feel really unfocused and pulled in five different directions and um, when I started my journey, I was 230 pounds, and as of last week, no, two weeks ago, I was 149.8, which was exciting to see 140 anything. Um, last week I was 149.2, so I maintained that, which made it feel a little more real. This week, however, I'm like 150.2, so I went up a little bit. But I tend to do that anyways, I'll kind of go down and hover, and then go down and hover. So I'm just glad I'm maintaining because I really don't know that I've been eating so great. Um, I've kind of been losing track and nibbling more and grazing more, especially in the evenings. I think it's kind of stress eating because I'm feeling pulled so many different directions. Um, that's something that I can warn a lot of people about is that as you get more energy and you lose the weight and you start to find yourself in a different level, you look around and realize what's been neglected in your life. And I, sometimes you feel like you're make, I feel like I'm make, playing catch up. And there's too much. There's too much that I'm trying to do at once. And my brain gets overwhelmed and I shut down. Um, I don't want to go there, uh, which is why I'm quitting my job that I'm working at now because I can only go so many directions. So I need to just cut one of those directions out, the one that's not working. So I can focus in on one direction. So we'll see. You know, I'm not even sure if it's the right move. I just know I have to do something because nothing changes if you do nothing. And so it was time for me to do something. And this was all I could think to do to get the ball rolling. Because um, I just feel like I'm not going to push myself as long as I have the stress of working two days a week to keep me drained from being able to put my energy somewhere else. So. Um, you know, it's hard as you get further out and life starts to creep back in more, you stop putting yourself first as much. It's easy to put yourself first that first six months. I spent all this money, I did this big surgery, I have to eat right or I pay for it and I'm sick if I don't drink my water and take my, you know. But as you get to be, you know, 11 months out, um, yeah, you still need to get your protein in, you need to get your liquids in, you need, you know, but if you have a day where you don't do so great, it's not as big of a deal and you don't really notice it, you don't pay the price. In fact, I feel like I, I deserve to have gained weight the last couple of weeks because my calories have been higher. They've gone up to more like 1,200, even 1,300 because I lose track, um, forget to you know put things in until later in the day and get ahead of my calories. Um, nibbling more, not eating bad stuff so much is just too much of good stuff. Um, but I've, my focus has been keep my protein over 100, trying to keep my carbs below 80, but that doesn't always happen. Um, uh, my calories, I'm trying to keep it, you know, 12, under 1,200 if I can. Hasn't been happening the last couple of weeks. Um, might be why my weight's not going down anymore. You know, if I really want to get serious about getting to that 145 mark, then I need to probably pay more attention to that. Um, I've been getting out and walking, um, you know, every couple days, but not necessarily consistently during the week, um, more on the weekends. But, you know, it's just really easy for life to come in and, and mess with you. Um, and that's what's been going on with me, is just trying to keep up. And I think I've realized how important it is for me to keep interacting with everybody on YouTube, watching their videos putting out my own videos, keep the conversation going so that it's it's up here in my head and I don't it doesn't get shoved in the background because that's I think for most of us 
we all got obese because everybody else's needs came first and we just sort of shoved ourselves in the background and pushed everything in and ate our feelings or whatever we did to, to get us there. And it's really easy to fall back into it. The further we get out, the more I find myself falling back into putting everything, you know, everybody else's needs ahead of me or being really pulled by what everybody else needs and forgetting that, wait, i got to take care of me first and then worry about what everybody else needs. So I think watching the videos and making the videos helps to track my brain back in to this part of my journey, to, this, to, to my center, and then... Um, oh, excuse me, I have an itch. And then um, the rest of it will just fall into place. So, anyways, that's where I am this week. Um, nothing new to tell anybody. I'm going to throw up a video of um, food, what, my, what I've been eating, at least like a core, the core of what I've been eating. Um, so, because I had several people asking me what I'm eating. Basically, I, you know, I don't have a very exciting, not very adventurous when it comes to food. So, um, that's about it for now, and I will talk to you all later. Bye!